Kendra uh, this year. Oriana does get locked in. It, it has been the go-to for PoE, so it's not yep. like it was really a shot in the dark there. Uh, he has been going towards it more and more in the early so, weeks. So it is ooh. interesting, but I do agree. It's a nice little chomper play combo. Yo, he's so good. It's already going to be flashed down for Arrow. All summoners gone. Afro, man, that does not miss. But now in the top side, Xerxes here. Flash done. Hook shot going to land. That's got to be enough damage. First blood in the top lane. The wave Powerful. kind of cut out. So, all right, fights for the camps at the very least. Obviously, the first blood feels good. And oh, Afro's here. Afro hasn't missed a hook all game as far as I'm concerned. First stun, second stun, thank you for the flay, a lantern for good measure, the paler is in, and oh my word, everyone on FlyQuest just pitching in. Two kills on the board. Top to play for Harold. Xerxes now level six, they could maybe find a dive on Akuma. Keep in mind, Akuma has to check this one. That's gonna be a slow, that's gonna be a flash stun. They could always ult the chase as well, he shouldn't have an easy way out. When will they have the burn? It goes in for the dive, they find the kill. Xerxes crashes down, and the turret cannot help. Jose Diodo, can he get anything over this one? Not a chance. Here we go, looking for the play. Want to find that first stun, but a damage out of Arrow. Finds Jose Diodo, wants to find this fight. Not going to happen. Going to get one shot. Yes, indeed. Arrow's on the board. Four to one. Harold goes Reset. down. Health bars are up. AD carry drops. And Johnson's on the chase. IMT running away. Xerxes left alone to die. He's been slaughtered. Ready for either team, but we'll see yeah. if the subsequent ones are going to be challenged at all. I believe targeting mid lane all that while ago. Uh -huh. Jose Diodo. Pillar doesn't actually spot what he wants to know. It's gonna be a huge CC chain, and he tries to kill the ward, but it's invulnerable. It does just end up being like, you're, you're a mage and carry, hit their mage and carry. Well, Shard will help yeah. block there. He does, but we got a flash slow into an ult. The Aphromoo flashes this point, doesn't have a way out. Arrow claims his Third. game. Definitely online here on the Aphilis, looking good as Immortals can keep walking forward. Now, Johnson. That's gonna be you uh -oh. walking through complete unsafety. Gale forces backwards, but Vola Bear is angry. Trundle tries. Trundle does not succeed. I think that was weird. Was that an ult over the flash. wall? Was that a was flash. a flash with a weird spectator bug. Back to safety. Thank you. Destiny seven to three. Yeah, Johnson not able to get out. I think he would have actually died to just the burn of the challenging smite or, or, or red buff or whatever that was, because he was so low. Uh, but, I mean, he knows they're in the area there, as Afro had already been taken down, and Johnson just takes a little bit I of I really wish there was more going on there. Uh, but bot lane turret at least will fall with a cross map. They get Kumo down there and some money back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they fun. won't really have Syndra on time if they instantly play for this dragon. Yeah, and I think they can look for it. I mean, the Nikoi just has to cancel it again, right? And he's in this situation where he doesn't want to give up that second tower. They're going to get the charge, and now Kumo in trouble topside. It's going to be so much damage. Nice Q. Ulti again is dodge on the backflip. Ulti to guarantee it. No way out. Goes for a high single target DPS that build. one to actually crack the tier two as well. Getting tremendous value out of that. They take the dragon very easily on Not the Not yet dead, and honestly, yeah, Johnson can't put more than one auto in, so here comes the next play. 2.6k in the lead, they want the chase, they find a slow, is it the rest that they want? Xerxes still hunting for Johnson, Flash Stun's gonna land, the damage comes through for Arrow as well, and they're gonna get that kill. Xerxes on the board again, 9-3, to three. Afro knows that he is dead, slaughtered once again. Revenge actually zoning, and they've got red white on arrows. So they have more than enough damage to actually do this. Jose, he has flash. Great pillar. That was really, really good to interrupt revenge here. 6k now on the Baron. Arrow stuck inside the pit. He will lose a lot of health. The Baron here. This makes the fight a little bit harder. As the rest of the team can try to join in. First one's gonna land. Too quick. Got to be careful. It's gonna land. Backflip nearly kills. They find the kill. Well done to revenge. Eaten up. Spit back out. How about the next kill? Oh, they need to go on the run. It's a blast plan away for Kumo. Can they get away? Good pillar by some time. Distance gets some move speed and. Kumo not going to get away. Revenge should find this kill. A Blast Plant buys a few more seconds, but I can't believe Kumo lives through this. He goes for the wave. He goes to earn some gold. Revenge here for a little bit more. Another shield for the assist. And they're going to find yet another one. Immortals get kill after kill. So off the tower you go. Holebreaker not needed. He's already too big in the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I agree. It feels bad to say that the best you can do with your stopwatch is just not getting We got mid turret pressured. Mid turret died. 15 minutes after all those kills, right? It was like a 20 minute turret kill. Oh, we had bot, we had bot pressure because of a gank. It's dying. I've seen a couple of recalls keep getting waiting, interrupted. Too long. And now Graves again gets a recall stop before they sent back Jinx. Jinx gets tower dove. Jinx does not defend this one. Revenge is like, this is this is the John Travolta meme. Like, where the hell are my opponents? Are, is this funnel again? Can make something happen. As in the brushes, Destiny Hook is going to land. Not an easy target. They will chunk him to half, oh. and he can't even get the shield up. That is so huge they to even find. have vision on this. They're realizing now that they could be on it. It might just go down before they get there. Wish they had vision. Baron dies, and FlyQuest just thought they were gonna leave. Baron's gonna there. 
they know they have no vision because they had it swept, they had pinks down, so they just go right back on it. They don't need Tom Kench to burst down the Baron. They finish that off, they get it for themselves. FlyQuest will grab a couple of objective bounties, and they do take a dragon, so they prevent Soul. But Revenge pushing on top. the 1v3, he's going to be just fine because his team is pushing in top lane, three versus two. Attempted stun not going to land here, so goodbye to the inhibitor turret. Destiny's back on the map, ready to try again. Mid lane now being attacked, and Volibear ults to safety. He's going to be fine for now. A flash get away from the pillar. A nice stun comes in from Tukui, but not going to be much more. Just a walk away. Got answer Revenge. It's the push and pull, man. They're playing it very well. Immortals has been really good in this split push when they've been playing it. They showcased some really good map play against TSM. Fortunately, they lost that game, but over these last couple games that they've been winning, they've showed really, really intelligent map play. They've been good about setting up vision. They have been good about the push and pull, about timing the crashing of the waves. So multiple waves are landing at the opponent's base at the same time, making it very difficult to defend. This is just good stuff, and Xerxes is going to continue pushing in mid. Of course, he's more vulnerable without the ult or the flash, but there's no one person on FlyQuest that can actually defend Revenge, so you send multiple members there. Then on the other side, guess what? They shove. I'm gonna try again. Revenge can't quite tie without a wave, but mid lane can certainly be attacked. Arrow will be Chopper. They got to themselves. There we go. Destiny gets there, has to burn the flash to do it, but does bring Arrow back to safety. And that's a big shockwave. Johnson nearly down, walks up for the lantern, gets right back out. Turret still very low and careful. Arrow with the chakra oh! takes him. Down! Welcome back to the roster, buddy! He's on the board! Down Arrow. goes two inhibitors. Down goes FlyQuest. Immortals going for a bit more. They've got a TP available. Goodbye, Zerus gonna tank the zap. Revenge wants to find that one. Not just yet, though. Takes a backflip, has a GA, burns a stopwatch. Reinforcements have arrived. And it's five versus four. Half beautiful. Locket comes down. Good damage out of Jinx. Pops the GA. Is it going to be enough for Johnson? Low one health, low one mana. Underneath comes Destiny. Finds a knockup. And it's Kumo going down as well. 4v4. No, 5v3 on the map. But they push for a little bit more there. Reset. Big damage. Oldie comes across. Revenge going to find that one. Volibear to dive for a little bit more. Then the stun coming across. And that's going to be all she wrote. That's going to be the kills. Oh, the Diodo stays alive. But his base will not. A shockwave finds the bottle at Ace. Immortals improve the four and four. Immortals on the rise. What a turnaround for Immortals over these last couple.